hey everyone welcome to my channel um so this problem is tagged as lead code hard problem and it's about finding the kth smallest pay distance the problem description says given an integer array return the kth smallest distance among all the pairs distance of a pair is defined as the absolute difference between a and b so it's pretty straightforward so one way to solve the problem is so the it's a brute force so the brute force way to is brute force way is to find the distance between all the pairs in the given array and and once we have distance between all these pairs and then we just sort all the distances found and then find the and just return the k kth smallest value so this definitely consume lot consumes a lot of time and definitely is not a good solution so we focus on um more better problem and we use like a binary search here to solve this problem which is more much more efficient than the naive solution um yeah so let's dive into the solution so the binary search why why the binary search because uh we need to find the kth smallest distance right so distance is nothing but the difference difference between all the pairs so the minimum possible uh distance so the minimum possible distance here sorry so the minimum possible distance min possible distance is nothing but zero and the max possible distance uh, which which is equals to maximum of nums and minus minimum of nums sorry yeah so uh, and the possible answer will be somewhere in between this zero and we have all these values and then we have max so this is our so our answer lies somewhere in between uh, you know this space um, yeah so we can since this is like an increasing uh, monotonically increasing thing so we can do binary search so what we do is like while doing binary search we assume some x as our we assume x as our kth smallest um, distance and but and, and after assuming x as our uh, answer which is the kth smallest distance uh, we just have we need to find the count of all pairs whose distance is less than or equal to x in our num array so so after assuming this so yeah so if this count is greater than k k is nothing but this one so if the count is greater than k so then our assumption is little high so this is a little high so let's say if x is somewhere here that means our assumption is a little high so what we do is we reduce our search space and then we try to find our answer in the in the, the first half hour in the first half so that reduces our complexity and then we again try to find we again try to find count of all pairs whose distance is less than or equal to k and then if the count is again greater than k we again reduce and if it's less than k then yeah we we instead of uh, searching in the first half of this space we search in the next half of uh, next half of this space and we have a another sub problem here and which is nothing but this how do you find this count of all pairs whose distance is less than or equal to x so we have an unsorted array and we need to find the count of all pairs right so counting all pairs is again n square on if it's and it's again naive solution we there's then, then there's no point in having the binary search here so here we make use of one trick which is we sort our initial nums array so what we do is we sort our array so by sorting array sort nums array so what happens after sorting our array so after sorting our array there is a let's say this is our nums array so we have nums array 
like one two three let's assume some some other values so if you take any index if if you take any value all the uh, numbers to the left of that index is less than the uh, value at that index and all the values which are right or right are greater than greater than or equal to uh, the current index so how is this going to help us let's assume the distance between 2 and 4 is 2 right so if if i move if i move somewhere if i fix this pointer so if i fix the, our pointer to some at 4 and then if i move our my left pointer towards right and then try to find the distance within 2 which is equals to 1 and we can write this in another way which is nothing but less than or equals to 2 this 2 so that means so when we fix when we fix our index and when we start somewhere at here and then when we when we uh, let's assume the distance between this these two is like a d and then when we move our left pointer towards right distance uh, between these two will definitely be less than or equal to d which says that which says that so when we find an uh, smallest index um, where the distance between this element and this element this element and this element if it's the less than or equal to d then all the possible index indices between these two can form pairs so we fixed our index at four right so and and let's say our lowest possible index is one so it can form pairs with one and four two and four and three and four so we can make use of this property to solve our problem so what we do is i'll repeat again so uh, we are at we fix our index at some point and then there is some other point to the left of it and let's assume the difference between these two values uh, at these indices is less than or equal to d then the distance between any index between the left and right index to the between the left and right index and the right index is always less than or equal to d so instead of like counting all of those we can just like skip counting yeah so this yeah and then we move right pointer towards right and then uh, we don't have to count all the indices to the left of x here and then we have one so we have a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 let's say we are at this this pointer let's say we are at here right pointer and then we are, our left pointer is somewhere here and let's assume Let's assume the uh, difference between these two pointers. Let's assume the distance between these two pointers is something like x minus 2. So this is less. So what we do is we increment our right pointer towards right. Right. So our new uh, right index is a3. And let's assume. So let's assume the. Um, distance between I mean the difference between these two values is exactly x which means the distance between this and this this and this is also less than or equal to x right so we are done so what we do is we count this value so the count uh, the difference between these two indices which is 2 so we are assuming so for every possible right we may uh, we find the left which is the smallest value such that so nums of right and nums of left is less than or equal, equal to or x we find left such that left we find left um, as small as possible and the and it and also satisfying this property and then the number of pairs with the right at as its rightmost endpoint is just nothing but the right minus left and then we keep moving our right pointer towards right and that's it for this solution uh, let me get into coding for now so that that makes things much more clearer 
So let's start coding here. So first thing we do is like we sort our nums array. And after sorting this nums array, we find to we try to find the maximum element uh, nums of zero in the beginning, and then we look through all possible nums values and we max it with num nums. And we have low variable, high variable, and we have mid variable. Low is nothing but zero, high is nothing but max element. Um, and we start our kind search by low less than is low less than high, and mid value is equals to low plus high by two, and here we do something, we find the count of, uh, we try to find the count of all pages whose distance is less than or equal to, equal to a mid, yeah so mid, so let's assume count here count as zero in the beginning and then after doing this process and we found uh, the value of count here and if if the value of count if it's greater than or equal to k if the value of count is greater than or equal to k so that means our assumption is a little too high what we do is we reduce our search space and then we set our high to mid and if it's a count if the count is less than k and if it's less than k, that means our assumption is a little less, and then we try to increase uh, our low value to mid plus one, and we return low, which is our answer. And then we need to fill out this part, which finds the count of all pairs. So how do you find this? So we have left variable, which is a zero, and then we have right variable, which is also a zero in the beginning. And then we uh, we have a loop here, which goes through all values of uh, nums. And then um, assuming right uh, rig um, as our rightmost index, and then we try to find all the possible indexes uh, which have right as their right index. So, um, so while so nums of if right is in difference between nums of right and nums of left, if it's greater than mid, if it's greater than our answer, then that means we need to increase our left quarter to one. And so, yeah, at the end of this loop, what we get is um, we have nums of right and nums of left to be less than or equal to mid yeah so at the end of this loop we have this condition um, possible so this condition is uh, right for us and then we count all possible pairs between this which is nothing but count of uh, right, right minus left and then we increase our right variable by one yeah, let me try to run this problem and run this solution. And then we have an error. It says num is not like uh, This is wrong. This should be nums. And then that's correct. Try to submit the problem. Yep, that's correct. So that's how you solve finding the kth smallest page distance. Let me know if you have any any, any um, queries in the comment section below and see you soon in the next video.